there's going to be a lot of changes when you get back to Madrid. <laughs> Can you just give me a couple of thoughts on the new coach, Rafa Benitez? Well, I never worked with him before. Uh -huh. it, uh, uh, it's an uh, experience and manager. Let's see uh, what's going to happen. Welcome to tonight's blockbuster of the sports world, right here at the Santiago Bernabeu. In the red corner, measuring five foot nine, it's the bad guy from Toy Story 2, the Istanbul Miracle Man, Rafa the Professor Benitez. Yo quiero disfrutar de, de este día. And in the very best corner of the world, one which no one could ever even come close to, you can't sue him. It's the five-time Ballon d'Or winner, Madeira's son, Cristiano Ronaldo. Los números no mienten para nada. It's time to settle the score. June 2015, round one, no respect. The fundamental moment in the Benitez-Cristiano Ronaldo rivalry came straight away, but was revealed only months later. Rafa Benitez, the man that won the 2006 UCL with Liverpool, signed as Real Madrid's head coach in early June of 2015. Mi planteamiento en general es eh, disfrutar de un gran equipo y no centrarme hoy, el primer día donde prácticamente acaba de aterrizar en, en aspectos eh, individuales. From his first day as a manager, he made a crucial mistake, not meeting privately with Cristiano Ronaldo. According to El Pais, this was a commandment at Real Madrid during the Portuguese players' years. You sign for them, you pay your respects to the main man. Every other coach before had done it. Rafa drew first blood by dissing CR7. July 2015, round two. You're simply not the best. Benitez's first move as Madrid's boss was taking the squad for a sweaty preseason in Australia. These days we have been training and the facilities are really good. We were really pleased in terms of um, when you want to, to do a training camp, a precision, uh, I think was fantastic. While talking transfers and doing some transoceanic PR, Benitez was asked the tough questions, including the fateful, who's the best player in the world? A simple one to answer as Real's coach, right? Ronaldo. There you go. He's a key player for us. Wait. Uh, Gareth will be a key player for us, but the same will be Benzema, uh, James, Isco, Cross, Modric. Benitez denied Cristiano as the GOAT. He didn't even consider him the best player on his team. And the Portuguese star hated this. Former coach Ancelotti would always take Chris's side. Rafa Benitez made the worst possible enemy. July 2015, round three, Rafa Benitez. In the end, Cristiano Ronaldo is the poster boy for professionalism. So, Chris tied his boots, kept his head down, and gave it his all in training. Until Benitez started picking on him. During a preseason training session, Cristiano felt he was being targeted. No fouls were given against him, and when he scored a goal, Benitez disallowed it. F*** that. Go f*** yourself, man. Cristiano accused Benitez of only giving fouls against the Portuguese players. It started to look like Benitez actually had a problem with Cristiano. September 2015, round four, again? Before a UCL group stage match, Benitez was, once again, asked about it. So, Rafa, you had some time to think about this. Is Cristiano Ronaldo the best footballer you've ever coached? Jugadores ambiciosos, eh, competitivos, ayuda muchísimo y Cristiano es uno de ellos. Es uno de ellos. For the love of Di Stefano, it's a simple question, man. Once in 2012, Marcelo had the audacity to say Messi was above Cristiano, and the Portuguese player didn't speak to him for months, even though they are complete BFFs. He's excellent, one of the best. I can't say he is the best I've coached. I've coached some real good ones. October 2015, round five. Talk to the hand. 
Cristiano was done. He simply ignored his coach and even started defying his training methods. On the pitch, everything was business as usual. In fact, under Benitez, Cristiano's numbers were impressive. 25 goals and 8 assists in 24 matches. The only other coach to have gotten more goals than matches from him was Jose Mourinho. But losing Cristiano means losing the dressing room. To lose a player like him is a big problem for us. One false step and Rafa would be down on his back, knocked out. Before this, Real were unbeaten under Benitez. After their falling out, they lost twice in November. A 3-2 against Sevilla and a 4-0 beating by Barcelona at the Bernabeu. Coincidence? Este es un discurso en el que yo digo que ante lo que yo oigo también por ahí de que si este no tiene la confianza de la junta directiva ni de los jugadores y tal, no es verdad. Los jugadores le puedo decir que digan lo que digan, que con quien más habla soy yo. Le apoyan totalmente y esta junta directiva también. January 2016, round 6. See ya. Jamás me ha dicho Cristiano Ronaldo, nunca. Ni con este equipo no vamos a ganar nada, ni con este entrenador no vamos a ganar nada, ni cuál era lo que me decía lo de los capitán, nada, jamás. Mire, Cristiano Ronaldo es un hombre que jamás ha dicho nada de nadie. Es un buen tío ¿m? y todo lo que sacan estos días, pues eso de que si yo le quiero vender, que yo tengo reuniones que no he tenido en mi vida y todo eso simplemente es para desestabilizar. Behind those empty words, Florentino knew what was up. It was either Cristiano Ronaldo or Rafael Benitez. The decision was simple. After a 2-2 draw at Benitez's hometown club, Valencia, he was gone. The inexperienced Zinedine Zidane became his replacement, and the rest is history. Except Cristiano wasn't done with Benitez. In an exclusive with El Chiringuito, Ronaldo kicked Rafa to the curb. You can learn some things, others you can't. To tell you the truth, I saw in him things different to other coaches. He would tell me how to shoot the ball, how to dribble. And I was like, yeah, cool. You want to teach Ronaldo how to football? Was this guy serious? The biggest controversy came after Benitez allegedly tried to explain to Cristiano Ronaldo how to properly take free kicks. Benitez has strongly denied these accusations. It's a lie. I never told him how to take free kicks. We only touched it in Australia, and I told him how I, as a Liverpool coach, analyzed his free kicks at Manchester United. The Belt this might be the easiest call in rivalry's history, but it's yours to make. Benitez only kept his job at the biggest club in the world for six months. Cristiano Ronaldo is possibly the biggest legend in Real Madrid history. With Rafa gone, what followed was one of the club's most successful periods, led by Ronaldo. Nowadays, one is still scoring goals, only this time in Serie A, while the other coaches in the Chinese Super League. I spent a lot of time not talking about Real Madrid. There was a time I thought about saying something, and it looked to me like I couldn't really say what I thought. So what I do is not talk about Real Madrid anymore. The only damage to Cristiano might be his reputation. He came out on top of this, but it made it quite clear to everyone that it's his way or the highway. You know, Real Madrid, it's, it's the biggest club in the world. It's always a challenge to be there, player, managers. And uh, I, will, I will love it to, to work with him and uh, let's see if we win some important titles and I, I'm quite confident and I look forward for that. Some just can't handle the heat. 